Hello beautiful people, what is up? Today I wanted to talk about a topic that has been pretty requested, especially on Instagram. If you're interested on following me on any social media, you can check out the description box. It's all linked down below. But I wanted to talk about my weight loss story uh, or my weight loss journey or just my healthy lifestyle journey, all of the above. So let's get right on into this. Starting off, I was always a uh, underweight kid as a kid. I was like in the lowest percentiles. I was also a very picky eater. I like couldn't handle a lot of texture, a lot of flavor. I loved bread, but it was like I couldn't eat pizza because there was red sauce on it and I only liked mac and cheese and I didn't like spaghetti and like grilled cheese was sometimes okay depending on the cheese. I only liked bologna and no other meat. I mean, I don't remember it as a struggle because I was little, but my mom has talked about how hard it was to feed me and I was always underweight. I remember one time when I was like six, the doctor had told my mom that I needed to gain weight and they like all I wanted, all I was willing to eat was bacon and so my mom fed me a bunch of bacon and then it made me ill um because i overate and it was a messy time and then i didn't eat bacon for another like five years because i was traumatized by bacon not to worry though i love bacon now always a little kid and then in high school i was a dancer so i was like exercising all the time i was in a lot of different dance classes through school and stuff so i was dancing a lot at school and everything so i was always like a little kid and then I stopped dancing after high school, about a year after high school, and I like still had a really fast metabolism, so I was eating shit and not working out and everything was fine. I met Matt in 2013, that's my husband. I met Matt in 2013 and at the time before I met him, he was like kind of casually bodybuilding. He was super into the gym still when I met him. And so I started going to the gym with him and he taught me a lot about like form and stuff while working out and some different ways to work out, some different weightlifting, not only techniques, but like the actual workouts and stuff. So that was a really good base for what eventually will become my current state. So in 2013, I started working out then in 2015, tw no, 2016, I stopped working out, I stopped going to the gym, I canceled my gym membership, and in the end of 2017, I was at my heaviest, and I was about a size 8. And prior to gaining weight from stopping going to the gym and stuff, I was about a size 3. I had gained some weight, um, and I definitely wasn't working out, I was still eating like shit, we were also drinking a lot. In 2018, I decided this is the time to change this shit up. I firstly went sober for a month just to like kickstart the fact that I had been drinking like a drink or two every night. And it wasn't like I felt the need to drink, it was more like the social idea of drinking. And that calorie inclusion was mostly what I was looking at, trying to lower the calories. So I went sober for a month to make sure that I wasn't drinking every single day. And I also did a 30 day challenge of yoga from YouTube. And I think I started with uh, yoga with Adrian. Yoga with Adrian is definitely a beginner yoga's uh, YouTube channel. So if you're interested in starting yoga, that would be a good place to start. I don't do her yogas anymore because I find them that they're not challenging enough for me at this point, but they definitely were challenging when I was not in shape and had no understanding of yoga. I also rejoined the gym. I go to 24 hour fitness, 24 hour fitness, along with your gym membership, you also get an app and that app has a bunch of different workouts on it. You can do muscle specific. You can do like an eight week course or 12 week course. You can do courses that focus on weight training. You can do focus, uh, weight ones that focus on weight loss. You can do ones that focus on cardio, there's a bunch of different ones. So I did a weight loss one and I started out doing it at home because I didn't feel comfortable going to the gym yet because I just was intimidating, intimidated a lot. So I was working out at home just in my living room 
body weight only, no weights, no equipment, no nothing. And I was doing that three days a week and then I finally started going to one gym class a week at the gym and it was like a class setting and it was cardio, it was body combat. And dude, body combat is hard and I was always really out of breath doing it but I was like taking my time, taking breaks when I needed to during the class and making it through and I would not leave even if it meant I had to stand over in the corner for a little bit I wouldn't leave the class so that was a big thing and then once I finished that course on 24 hour it's called 24 go um, their app is and once I finished that course then I took a weightlifting course through their app so that I could learn how to kind of get back into weight training. So I did that and then I was also going to body pump, which is another class that 24 Hour Fitness does. It's a class setting of weight training and it's low weight, high reps. So it's like five to 10 pounds of weight and you are doing many, many, many reps and it's all to music and there's an instructor and what I really liked about taking that class was that the instructor will call for um, form so they'll remind you not to roll your shoulders over and to put them back they'll remind you to straight back bend over straighten your legs bend your knees don't go on your toes whatever it is that is needed in that position they'll call out so that you can check your form and a lot of times there's mirrors in the class too so you can check your form and that I found was really really helpful because I wanted to know that I wasn't going to hurt myself too. They also offer personal training at the gym. I am not interested in personal trainers. I have done them in the past and I did actually get like a free personal trainer day at 24 hour fitness uh, like during actually during this time. I find myself way more uncomfortable having some person watch me one-on-one -on -one than the class setting. I think the class setting works a lot better for me, but if you think a personal trainer would work for you, that's a different type of inve investment that if it works for you, it works for you. So those were the main things that I did in 2017 that got started, and then that got me into the habit of working out four days a week, about maybe sometimes five. So it was a mix of doing workouts set up from the 24 hour go app that was individual. So I would go to the gym and weight train, but then I was looking at a set of workouts from the app. So I was doing that. And then I was also going to classes. I was doing yoga a couple times a week, either at home or in the gym. The gym I go to happens to have a really good instructor for yoga, so that's awesome. But yoga was really what started it. I started with yoga and then I started doing weight training because I wanted to get strong enough to do inversions, which I still struggle with to this day because I'm not very good at practicing them, so. Something to work on in 2020. <laughs> yeah, so from 2018, the start of the year, to May of 2019, right before my wedding, I hit my goal weight. So I went from being a size 8 at about 165 pounds down to 135 pounds and a size 4. And that was perfect. I wanted to be anywhere between 130 and 135, so I hit my goal. And I stayed at that weight and maintained it for about 3 months. And then I recently have gained another 10 pounds back. So I weigh about 143 to 145 pounds, depending on the day. Um, and I've sat at that weight since about the end of September. So in 2020, the goal is not specifically weight related, it's more definition related. So I want to have more definition in my arms, in my stomach especially. I want to have abs by June. So I am going on a strict dieting plan. I'm kind of bulking and then I'm going to go into a deficit and then I want to bulk one more time before I go into another deficit before going to Costa Rica in June. So that's the plan now. Yeah, I also found wanted to make sure I was getting people who were focused on the same things I was focused on in my life through social media and stuff. So I followed 
Mari from Mari Fitness. I followed her Instagram and her YouTube channel. I also found Sam Ozcarl. She's a lifestyle and gym guru, as one would say. I follow her on YouTube, and I actually just recently found her Instagram. And then Sarah from Sarah's Day. She's an Australian YouTuber. I found her channel and her Instagram, and I follow her on those. She also happened to get pregnant, like, right when I started my journey, so... It, I've fallen in love with her channel for different reasons and I just I really do love her but I really liked watching her stuff anyways I find that I really like the mindset of this is a lifestyle change not a diet this is not me trying to hit my goal weight and then now I can eat shit or now I can stop going to the gym or whatever I'm I'm, I'm really in the mindset of this needs to be my life and I like that because Matt also goes to the gym and I mean we both don't eat that healthy together and so we're both working on that. Um, that's really the hardest one for both of us but I want to want to go to the gym and I find that I have found that. I my mindset has changed. I don't have to go to the gym. I want to go to the gym. It's my happy place. It's something that I look forward to most days. Um, and I find that I always feel better after I go. And that didn't used to be true back when I was first starting, but now is definitely true. I feel way better after I go to the gym than I do if I don't go, especially when I'm like stressed out or not so much like if I, if I had like a bad sleep or something that's different, but like if I'm having like a bad day or something, it's so nice to go to either my class or to go work out or whatever, put my headphones in and just stop thinking about it and do what I need to get done. Um, body combat is especially a class that I love to go to when I'm having a bad day because I just get to let all of that negative energy like throw out because you are punching the air and kicking and all of that and you get to just let out all this negative energy and I also just have found some amazing instructors. I think that's another really important part for those class environments. Just because you go to a class and you didn't like the instructor does not mean you can't find a different class with a different instructor or the same class with a different instructor that you'll like more. There are certain yoga classes at 24 Hour Fitness I will not go to because I do not like the instructors but I love yoga and I love some of the instructors so I make sure to go when I can to those classes. Same with body combat, there are certain ones I love more than others. Body pump, same thing. Um, and so you have to really give yourself a chance to find not only the class that you like but the people who instruct them that you like. Those are both really important. And then as far as the gym itself, I'm sure that those are part of it too. I've only ever gone to 24 hour fitness, I feel comfortable at 24 hour fitness so I'm continuing to go to 24 Hour Fitness. The only other gym I ever went to was when I lived up north where Matt is from and where I lived for a year because they don't have one. I like that class, that gym too, but it's, it's a self-owned individual business that I can't find anywhere else. That is my journey of finding love for the gym and working out. My journey is not over as far as food goes. I still really struggle with food and wanting to eat foods all the time that are not great for you. And I, of course, think that you should eat those in moderation. I don't think you sh I don't f like the idea of never eating like sweets or never eating carbs. I do not like that mentality. Um, but I do struggle with, with eating it a lot <laughs> and eating large quantities when I eat it. So I need to work on all of that. <laughs> um, so definitely not over, but in the works and I definitely feel like the gym part I have pretty good. I'm trying to work now on finding the strength and the willingness to work myself harder like way up you know like use heavier weights. I'm like scared to do it but I need to do it. That's everything that I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have a journey story about anything like this I would love to hear it in the comments or if you have a video please link it to me. I love seeing all of the stories. I'm part of a few different groups that it's a lot of just telling each other their stories of their motivational and how they 
how they got started and stuff. I absolutely love it. So if you have anything like that, I'd love to hear it if you are willing to share. And that is everything. Please make sure to like this video if you enjoyed and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I make videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel and I also have a booktube channel linked down below along with all of my other social media so you can check all of that out elsewhere and I will see you guys very soon with a new video. Bye!